Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about a topic that you guys may be interested in and I want to kind of uh, get you guys into the aquarium hobby. So basically, if you are thinking about getting into the aquarium hobby, I would say it's a no-brainer, you should definitely do it. For me, aquariums allowed me to kind of explore new things and what our earth can do for us and why fish keeping is so interesting and it's so healthy and it's so fun to uh, just create fish tanks and create videos off fish and to really learn about new species and to learn about uh, what your potential is and how much you can do when it comes to water changes, keeping up with the fish, doing feedings, um, all of the above. And I think that for me personally, fish keeping has gotten me on a better track where I feel more responsible, I feel like I'm able to accomplish more things, I feel a lot more calm because I know that I always have the fish, and uh, aquariums are so beautiful, uh, they present themselves, they're, if you got an extra space in your house, an aquarium will bring it to life, you just put it in that spot and there's an aquarium and everyone's like, wow, that's awesome, and it looks, it, it looks really good, so for me, I would recommend it to you because aquariums, not only do they allow you to uh, find a passion, but they also will allow you to learn a lot and get really involved in your community because there's so many other people who are into the hobby uh, and there's so many fish stores with such nice people that will uh, introduce new facts you wouldn't have thought about and uh, and you, there's no limits on this hobby. Um, uh, for me, I think that you should definitely get into the hobby because it's interesting, it's fun, it's uh, new, and you're un even myself, who's been in the hobby for almost a year now, um, I always continue to be amazed by all the new things that are coming out when it comes to filters and heaters and accessories and decorations and plants and new discoveries on fish species and... I think that it's just so new and it's always fresh and uh, feeding my fish every day is exciting and fun and it's 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 a nice outlet to have. And I think that if you're interested in setting up a tank, I would start small. Maybe get a couple Corydoras on the bottom to clean your tank up and uh, maybe a couple Danios or Tetras and see where that goes. See how the tank is doing. Make sure you follow the nitrate cycle and you check to see, oh, is my ammonia too high? Uh, is is the charcoal filter not working well enough? And really scan what you're doing wrong. If your fish are dying, you're doing something wrong. So definitely do not make that state mistake the same as I did when I started the hobby. You want to start small and not start off getting maybe 50 fish in a 10-gallon tank because that's a little bit ludicrous. Uh, you want to... Start small, maybe even get a betta. You can get a betta, they're probably like anywhere from five to $10 at a pet store. Um, it's really self-explanatory. You get the fish, just a bowl, simple, feed it here and there. And just, you know, just watch how it, watch how it grows, watch how it progresses, watch to see if you enjoy the fish and if you enjoy what is happening and then progress and then, Get into five gallon tanks, maybe house a couple uh, neon tetras with a couple freshwater plants and you choose the species and you choose how you're going to implement CO2 or you can use diffusers or fertilizers. It all is just completely up to you. It's a free range hobby and it's a free range passion. You really just choose based off of your opinion and based off what you like, and that's what's the beauty of the aquarium hobby. It's all off what you want and what you get to choose to create. And and for me, I would suggest maybe starting off with a betta, yeah, and then go into a five-gallon tank, get a couple tetras, get some plants in there, get some stuff started, then maybe get a 10-gallon tank. Or you can start from a betta to a 10-gallon tank. 5-gallon, 10-gallon, it's about the same. Uh, there's there's no real uh, extreme change. 
and see how that's going. And for a beginner, I would say keep that for about anywhere from four to six months and just enjoy it. They're, the 10 gallon tanks, it's limitless. You can get planted tanks, you can start getting creative with growing out fish, breeding guppies, start a goldfish tank. Um, and get some really hardy fish so that you're not going to have to go to the pet store and tell them, oh, my fish died. Can you check my water? Because uh, they will make you check your water if your fish is not, if your tank is not perfectly set up and they know you. They'll make you bring in a water sample and most likely there will be a spike in either ammonia, carbon, or there will be something wrong with uh, the uh, extreme algae growth, pH is not right, it all just depends, but definitely get a hardy fish to start. So anywhere from, I would say, mollies, platies, guppies, danios, uh, rasboras, um, uh, and basically any of those species will do. Um, introduce them to the tank after you acclimate them, um, and then get your, si your tank to cycle, get them to uh, be doing well, and once they're happy and once the tank is good and they're surviving, that is the key that they're surviving. Then you have a good start to your tank and you know what you're doing and your water's perfect. You check the pH constantly and it's 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 doing well. Then I would suggest you can get into bigger tanks, look for bigger fish, more interesting fish. Um and yet there is there is a limit when it comes to space. I know that like for me, putting in a, the 55 gallon, that was pretty hard because there's not a lot of space to put it. So for my recommendation would be to start with the 10 gallon, maybe ask your parents like, oh, hey, uh, I know it's uh, a little bit to ask for, but I'm getting into fish keeping and I was wondering if I could get uh, maybe a 29 gallon tank and uh, set up a little stand, put it somewhere in the house, and really just get creative with that. Maybe start some Afri African cichlids, start some um, start some of the catfish, introduce new species of archer fish or Amazon fish or a couple bass. Just get really angel fish, get really creative with that. Um, and you'll see that your tanks and everything will look beautiful once you know what you're doing. And you will be proud of yourself for what you have accomplished and what you are doing. So this video basically is a description of what aquarium beginners should get into and why I recommend you getting into the aquarium hobby because there is a lot you could learn from it. There's a lot you could benefit from and a lot of fun inside of the hobby. And I think that it'd be a great opportunity for anyone to start the hobby and start getting into fish. So that will do it for me. I am LG Fish Keeping and that is my video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.